Okay, listen up. Next change, I want two, two. All right, two, two. One and two together, three and four together. Five, you're with one and two. Two, two. Okay, come back on the left, left side. There you go. Thank you. Jared. Okay, now what we're going to do is lift it out and relax for a second. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pour plates in that spot. We're going to pull the canoe forward and you're going to stop the canoe. So you're going to be in this motion. The plate's not going to move, just the canoe's going to move. So don't rush it. Don't pull real hard. Just move it. It weighs 400 pounds without you in it. So don't rush that. Move the canoe forward. When you get to the end of your stroke, stop the canoe by holding the water in it. So it's going to be and stop. Then we're going to move the canoe back and stop. And then we're going to move the canoe forward. So we're going to find that different stroke that we can do. Okay, so reach out, point your blades in. Are you ready? Hold the canoe forward. Stop it. And backwards. And move forward. You don't rush. You don't rush. You guys are rushing. Don't let the blade move, move it in. Don't make it too long. That's a little too long. Break at your hip. Okay, let's move it backwards. Move the canoe forward. Good. Move it backwards. Okay. Crush it. Move backwards. And forward. And that's good. One more time. Backwards. Crush it. Forward. Alright, now switch over to the right side. That's it. And backwards. Okay, you left your hop a lot Okay, that's the stroke. So that's where your power is. Now keep in mind when you go to plant, you can't aim for that spot where your blade is deep because the canoe is moving, the water is moving. You can't pull until that blade is in the water. Don't start pulling out here. It just does that. It's not so, reach, reach the water, and then when you reach that point, that's where you pull. So, there's a little hesitation before you actually start that pressure in your canoe. Does that make sense? Okay, so go ahead and make a run around. Come on, go! go. Paddles up! Easy. That's it. Paddles up! Hold water. All right, Jared, I know this is a lot to take in. Rotate your shoulder so you can set that blade in there, okay? Yes. Put all that together that you just, just did. Rotate that shoulder to put the blade in. It'll be a little bit more effective. All right? Oma Coco! Paddles up! Right there. Head, reach with your head. Good. 
Paddles up! Hold water. Okay, since we're in the middle right now, let's do that little drill that we just got through doing on the shoreline with Dale where you put your blade in, you bring it to the back, and you go back forward. Okay, let's do that four times, okay? Four times. So we'll go back one, go back two, go back three, go back four, okay? All right? And we should be able to be within the area that we're in. Try to fill the pool together. You know, this is not a uh, race to see who is most efficient. It's about how to be f efficient together, okay? Oma Koko! Okay. Paddles up! Demo! Nice and easy. Go back. back. That's it, that's it. So you, see what we're trying to do here, that's good, paddles up. What we're trying to do is feel that pressure on the blade or what it feels like to have pressure on the blade is what we're trying to find here. And the thing is, is that the, the, the more familiar we, you become with that pressure on the blade, you'll know what you're exerting and you know what you need to exert to keep the, uh, keep the momentum of the canoe going. Okay, let's do it one more time. Stay with one. Other side? Uh, Two, 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 whatever side you want. Hold my coco! Paddles up! Easy. Back four. Save one. Fresh in the front. Hold on to it. Oh. Oh. Hold on to it.